Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the asteroid collision problem. Let's first see the statement. We are given an array asteroids of integers representing astro asteroids in a row. For each asteroid, the absolute value represents its size, and the psi represents its direction. Positive means meaning right, negative meaning left. This is crucial because uh, we will see the example uh, in a second. Each asteroid moves at the same speed. Find out the state of the asteroid af after all collisions. If two asteroids meet, the smaller one will explode. If both are the same size, both will explode. Two asteroids moving in the same direction will never meet. So let's see the example. Uh, as the 5 and the 10 want to go right, and the negative 5 want to go left, so this 2 will conclude. As the absolute value of 10 is greater than the absolute value of the negative 5, so the negative 5 will ex explode. Then we'll just get the 5 and 10. These two uh, asteroids have the same size and they want to go to the different direction so they both explode. We just return an empty array. This one at negative 5 want to go left and the two want to go right. So these two explode and the uh, uh, sorry, these two conclude and these two will explode, we get the negative 5, and negative 5 will conclude with the 10, and we get the 10. Uh, this example is different, because negative 2 and negative 1 want to go left, and uh, one and 2 want to go right, so we just get the... Uh, so, this uh, 4 asteroids will not uh, meet, so we just return. Then, so the I think the key of this problem is you need to find a suitable data structure. Let's see how to find the suitable data structure. We um, handle this asteroids from left to right, like uh, uh, the five we will just uh, first keep the five, and then we meet uh, the ten. Uh, ten has the same direction with the five so we just keep eight and then we meet a negative five as they have different direction from the ten so we should handle these two and they will uh conclude and then the negative five will explode it will explode so we get uh, uh we do not uh, add the negative five into our result array uh, uh, you see this example. In the same way, we get the 10 and 2, and then we get negative 5. It will let the 2 explode, and uh, we keep, uh, uh, it, it will keep, uh, make conclusion with the 10, and the uh, negative 5 will explode. So, as you can see, we first uh, go from left to right, and then we, we want to, uh, make sure if we, Add uh, this uh, current uh, astronaut into our result array. We will go left to compare one by one. So, uh, I think the order may may be obvious for you as it is last in, first out. So we should use a stack to uh, handle the astronaut one by one. Uh, so let's first write it, and you will see how to use this. Deck. So we will use the array deck, uh, and uh, we just uh, handle every asteroid. We'll see some cases. The first case is we just uh, add the current uh, asteroid into our stack. The first uh, situation will be the stack is empty, and uh, the same situation should be it has the same uh, side with the peak of the stack. So 
the stack pick times if it times the a greater than zero, which means they have the same sign. So we just put into the stack. As you can see, this example, if the previous an astronaut will go left and the current will go right, so they will not meet. That means if the stack peak is less than zero and the a is greater than zero, we just put uh, push the current astronaut into the stack. But uh, another, uh, if not the case, we will know that they will make conclusions, right? Let's see. There is some example. Uh, some cases. First the case, the current uh, astronaut is the size of the current astronaut is less than the peak of the stack. We just uh, do not add them into a stack. We are done. If they have the same size, both will explode. The complicated case is if the size is greater than the peak of the stack, we will pop from the stack and keep uh, compare. So uh, we may need a loop here. But uh, we need to mark if we should add a current astronaut into our stack. So I will use a Boolean variable named flag uh, means we do or if we need uh, to add a current astronaut into our stack. So while the stack uh, is not empty and uh, the stack uh, peak times the current astronaut is less than zero. Uh, we know the simplest uh, case is the stack uh, peak um, equal to the <coughs> mass uh, absolute value of the A. Both will explode and the stack will just pop it. And the flag will be the force. We do not need to add the current astronaut into our uh, stack, so we just uh, break. Another case is that the, if the mass absolute value, the stack peak is greater than the uh, A, we do not need to add the A, right? And we just uh, let the flag in, uh, to the force and break. Complicated uh, case is we need to explode uh, the peak of the stack. So the stack will just pop and uh, continue to compare. So out of the loop, if the flag is true, we push the astronaut into our stack. So finally, we just need to get the result from the stack. The size should be the uh, stack size. And uh, need the result array. The set will be n. An index will start from the n minus one because the stack is last in first out. We start from the very last. So the case should be if the stack is not empty. The result index minus minus uh will equal to the stack pop. And I just return this. Result. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.